How much water do we have on our planet? Clean water is indeed a precious resource and a changing planet is altering the water reserves around the world. And now a NASA-led international satellite mission is set to blast off from Southern California. It will be a comprehensive survey of the world's oceans, lakes and rivers. The Surface Water and Ocean Topography, or SWOT, Advanced Radar Satellite is designed to give scientists an unprecedented view of the world's oceans. Its inputs will shed a new light on the mechanics and consequences of climate change. If it all goes as planned, the SUV-sized satellite will start sending research data within months. The project is finally ready to lift off after nearly 20 years in development. It incorporates advanced microwave radar technology. What I would say is we're going to be able to see how the amount of water we have changes over time. So when, uh, if, if an area is in a drought, we're going to be able to see, okay, how much less water do they have in their lakes and reservoirs and in their rivers? When there's a flood going on, how much water is actually on the landscape? Scientists say it will collect high surface measurements of oceans, lakes, reservoirs, and rivers in high definition for more than 90% of the globe. One major thrust of the mission will be how to explore oceans and how they absorb atmospheric heat and carbon dioxide. This natural phenomenon moderates global temperatures and climate change, scanning the seas from orbit. SWOT is designed to precisely measure fine differences in surface elevations. This will be targeted around smaller currents and eddies where much of the ocean's drawdown of heat and carbon is believed to occur. And SWAT can do so with 10 times greater resolution than existing technologies. So the big difference with SWAT is we're going to take this sort of static estimate where we can say, eh, you know, this is probably about how much water there is total in the world's lakes. And we're going to be able to make that, first of all, dynamic. We're going to be able to see uh, when it's higher or when it's lower. And we're going to be able to make it much more granular. So we're going to be able to say, here's how much water there is, not just for the whole world, but also for individual regions and individual lakes and, re and uh, reservoirs and rivers. SWAT's ability to discern smaller surface features also be used to, could also be used to study the impact of rising ocean levels on coastlines. More precise data along tidal zones would help predict how fast storm surge flooding may penetrate inland. The extent of saltwater intrusion into estuaries, wetlands and underground aquifers could also be measured through this process. Oceans are estimated to have absorbed more than 90% of the excess heat trapped in the Earth's atmosphere by human-induced greenhouse gas emissions. Um, so again, it's going to be a big step forward as we talk about sea level rise and climate change and flooding. Um, it's really what's happening directly at the coast that's most important. And SWAT's going to start to give us measurements of what's occurring at the coast and, and how some of the movement of water between ocean and land is occurring um, at, at this coastal interface. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.